I'll take her on Poppy. Is there people in here yet? Yeah, there's two. Hey guys. We're at the early Phoenix, risers. Phoenix Zoo. I know it is way early. Not the ideal time to stream, right? Yeah. I think in Australia and New Zealand it's early, early morning. <laughs> but it's the weekend, right? So Sunday maybe? This is our first time at the Phoenix oh, Zoo. Oops, sorry, honey. And I've heard there are a couple Australian animals here, so we're gonna look for them, right? Huh? We already found the wallabies. A wallaby. So there's one right there. She's sleeping. sleeping. Baby. Me and Emma thought it was sad, but it was sleeping. And then there's one cleaning over there. Grooming it's all. Right? Yeah. <laughs> They're so cute. They look like kangaroos. Yeah. They pretty much are, right? They're just like little... They're like miniature version. Of kangaroos. Yeah. They only get to like 60 pounds max or something. Yeah, it should start in the little... Yeah. These are redneck wallabies, it says on the sign. Oh, it's 825 in Sydney. Oh, that's not too bad, though. Early morning. Better than like 2 in the morning or something. <laughs> right? We thought it was 4 in the morning right there. Yeah, that's better than I thought. So, this is just a little butt, though. They go 60 pounds. What's interesting about it is, like, I feel like this fence is the only thing keeping us away from them. I feel like they can hop over this easily. <laughs> yeah. So... We definitely won't make a man. <laughs> yeah, right. thank gosh it's not a kangaroo. Check out the kids, they're ready for a safari. Andrew, say hi. Andrew. Be careful, honey. Good morning. Happy rising. Right? It's the warmest day since we've been here, right? 75? Yes. Clouds are rolling in, but the sun's nice. It's very around. nice day today. Very nice for winter, yeah. I feel we should talk a little bit louder because Sometimes Andrew wears Australia gear. So there are emus here as well. Be careful, Emma. Yeah, they're supposed to be emus. Emus, emus. I'm sorry, I don't know how to say it right. Emu, oh. Emus. Um, wallabies, kangaroos. Uh, what else? Koalas. We gotta find them though. So. Oh, darn. That's scary. Hell, it says someone says at Melbourne, so you actually walk with the kangaroos. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't think there's anything quite like that unless there, there might be like VIP packages and stuff, right? Yeah, I'm scared. We don't know. We're, we're new to this, guys. Good we're morning. Good. Happy rising, everybody. Hope you're enjoying your great Sunday. This is, I, if I remember right, I think this is my first time ever seeing... A wallaby? A wallaby or kangaroo type deal, you know? Very exciting. Somebody <laughs> say, are you from Alabama? Alabama? Yeah. No, we're in Phoenix, Arizona. We're, we're, we're in Phoenix, but are they like, are they... Do they are they from Alabama? Are they nature? nature? I, I don't know this for sure, but I thought I read it on the internet that like Georgia and Alabama down in the southeast, like they they almost like got out of control or something from some kangaroo guy that had a lot. I think there's like some wild kangaroos in Alabama and Georgia. I heard. What? I could be wrong, or maybe it used to be. I don't know. So some guy in a sanctuary let them go, or something happened, something and now like they're that. running around making I, babies. Yeah, we're in the southwest. I heard the oh. southeast. Okay, like sorry, that. I didn't catch the joke. It was a joke. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm not kidding. Oh, but that's a I real story? That. I read that online. There's like a kangaroo, kangaroo something in Georgia, and there's like Mama. there's wild ones there. Wow. Here, look. This is supposedly Tasmania and the far east coast are where these redneck wallabies are. Uh -huh. I mean, you guys would know better than us. but Let's go find the emus. Bye, babies. Have fun. See you later, wallabies. They're pretty calm right now. Yeah, they're calm. That one's just loving cleaning up there. Yeah. When we walked up to this, we got stormed by birds, remember? Oh yeah, we almost got like But our not heads not quite around. magpie style though. Yeah, not magpie birds. Look at this baby. She's sad. Maybe she's just she's sleeping. Okay. Yeah, maybe she's tired. Okay, let's go see the emus. Mama. Huh. Mama. No, I think she's happy, baby. Say hi. Hi. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I know. Andrew, be careful, honey. Baby rabbit, and it was adorable. Aww. Somebody had kangaroos pets, and they hop into their freedom. You guys are, it's so cool how you guys just see kangaroos, like, normal, like, that's in your backyard. And for us, it's, like, something rare, you know? I wonder if you guys have raccoons out there. Let's go, baby. We're, no, Papa, no. Do you guys have raccoons, for example? We have them all, like, in the, in the garbage cans. They like to, like... Go through people's garbages. Be careful, Andrew. Oh. 
Let's go, kiddos. Okay, so now we're gonna possums. Yeah, kind of like the same thing, except your possums are. It was my dad versus a raccoon. Like, I mean, they do a tag here, you know? Look at that. Sorry. Go, Emma. Go. Emma, you want to get in a little right? koala? Get in. Uh oh. Everybody's dropping toys. Go, Mama. Get in. Go from behind. Oh, sorry, baby. Go in the back. In the back. In the back. Tell her how to get in the back. Go, Emma. Where's Emma? There's a. That's not how big their pouches are. There she is. I know you guys have cute possums. I would have one as a pet. <laughs> I used to have a hamster, but my hamster didn't make. It. Come on, Andrew, get in there, honey. <laughs> nice job, oh, she's she doesn't want to get dirty, huh? It's okay, I'm Andrew. Scared. You guys scared? No, I'm not scared. No, she's oh, not sorry, scared. she's not scared, you guys. I'm sorry. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that. Wow. Oh, sorry. Oh, excuse me. We have cool toys. Where's the emus? You see the guy right next to you? He just stood up on it. I want to see if we can see those. Those red rocks kind of look like Australia. Oh, be done. Ian wants to show you guys some rocks that he thinks looks like Uluru. Kind of. Oh, not, not Uluru, just like... Oh, sorry. The Outback, sorry. Look at this flower. Wow. Just... It's like weird. Look at this big um cigarro. Cigarro, yeah. Cigua. I mean, that's... Yeah. Be careful, Emma. Okay. Be careful. Slowly, everybody. You know, we don't want to fall. Here, just get a shot of the red box. Here, Ian around. can do it. I can't. Here, hold this one. Yeah, right? Over there. We'll get a better shot later. Yeah, kind of. When we were out there, like, had a better view, it looked like the Australian Outback, like, sort of like the closest thing you'd see here in the u.s like totally red boulders with like no vegetation on it, it looked really cool but we'll get a better shot of that later dang we have a lot of people in here you guys are awesome 122 people very very cool guys i'm glad that it wasn't too early right The golf course has heaps of kangaroos. That's crazy. I bet the golfers have to watch out for them when they're teeing off. Nathan, good morning. Good morning to you. It's only uh, two in the afternoon here, so. I appreciate that. I'm glad this is more fun than TV for you guys. I appreciate it. I'm glad we're getting the live stream more. It's really fun. This is something we'd like to do more than once a month. I mean, we've done a few in the last week or so. I really like it. We'll have more videos coming like normal, but we're going to work in more live streams. Just... Here, Andrew. Go ahead. Andrew's going to climb in this fake saguaro here. Someone said there was a shark found at a golf course. How the heck? In one of the water hazards or what? Kangaroos? Oh my god. I bet they do poo all over the course. Oh yeah. Here. 
<laughs> All right. Where's Where's Juju? You go over there. Now I'll see you. There's my view. Oh my gosh! Be careful, please. Andrew. Ah! Oh my gosh! You okay? Okay, wait, Mama. Wait, wait. Hold, oh, hold you it. You can't climb back up, buddy. There's more of the cool looking mountain rocks over there. Nice job, Emma. You went fast. Here, go by Andrew. I want him to climb that thing alone. <laughs> oh, you're okay, man. Oh, uh, Graham, you've had a very wet season. Wow, okay. A lot of rain over there, huh? Tell you what, in uh, a lot of the U.S., it's been pretty dry. Move these over. I'm watching him. Andrew, Andrew, let her through, buddy, or or you or go down. <laughs> there you go. Be careful. Melissa, good morning. Drake, good morning. Lots of storms in New South Wales. Wow. Rainy summer, huh? All right. <laughs> nice. All right, after Emma comes down, you want to try and find an... Oh, my goodness. Are you okay? Are you okay? You got her. She goes down fast, huh? Clear skies in South Oz, that's awesome. Good to hear. It was clear skies here until we got here and the, the clouds rolled in. I don't think it's gonna rain now, I think it's just clouds. John, not too hot, but a bit humid. And I tell you what, in the Southwest, when, whenever we've been here in Arizona and New Mexico, it's never humid. It's only like 10% humidity. It's really, really low humidity. It's really dry. Look at the plane up there. Lots of planes around here. Oh, you're in a La, uh, La Nina event. I got gotcha. you. All right, take a right up here. A right? Yeah, because we came from that way. I want to see if there's any. Or, I'm sorry, up here. Oh, I don't know. What do you think? You want to go back there? I do, too. I don't know where they're at. They're all around this area, but I'm not sure where. Yeah, we can try this way. Glad we have a lot of viewers. This is cool. Uh, I don't know. I want to see this first. Oh, we found them. Emu exhibit. What, what, what? Oh, those things are crazy. Here, hold this. Look at, we have a wee bite caution here. You see that? Here it is. There's my first emu I've ever seen. Holy smokes. What the heck? That is way bigger than I thought. Jason, good morning. We're here at the Phoenix Zoo. Anyone tuning in, we're here at the Phoenix Zoo looking for Aussie animals. We saw wallabies earlier, looking for kangaroos and emus, and we just found the emu. 
Look at that thing, it's way bigger than I thought. Dang, looks kind of mean too, huh? They make an odd noise? We'll see if it makes noise, I don't know. What's it say on the sign? Let's see. They have to travel for water. They can drink several gallons. They're big. Hi. Be careful, Ian. Don't drop. I'm going to show Ian. You want to see the elephant? Wait, right, wait, come here. Okay, really fast, and then we're going to see the elephant. We're gonna see the elephant. Is this your first Mama, Mama. Yeah. I was scared when I saw it was looking at me. I've seen ostriches before. That's not an ostrich, right? No, it's, it's different, but I've never seen it before. That thing's looking at us like, like. It's got a menacing look. It's looking at us like, it's like, don't come near me or I'll bite your eye out. Wow. Yeah, look at those claws. Those things are legit, huh? That's sad. There's only one of them. Yeah, I don't know where the other one is. Emma, you wanna go to the elephant? Okay. Maybe the, maybe he has to be alone because he can beat up the other one or something. Okay, Emma wants to go see the elephants. Everybody wants to see elephants. I hope they have elephants. I mean, it's a zoo. They should have an elephant. But if they don't, that's fine. What are those little things? Oh, look at those little ones. Emma, you see little monkeys? They're so tiny. Like tamarind candy? No, without the D. Oh my gosh, so I'm gonna get chased by emu ones. I'm so sorry that happened to you. I bet your heart. Chased by an emu? Yeah, somebody got chased by an emu. Oh, that sounds scary. I'm so sorry, that would have been. Imagine getting chased by a crossway. Uh, what do you call that one? The Conroy? The... Oh, a cassowary? A cassowary, oh my gosh. Well, that's right, that's right. Keep going forward. Is this that emu kangaroos on the Australian crest? Because they just keep going forward. Yeah, that's, that's true. Those are badass animals. One day I got chased by a cow. Man, that sun is hot. I'm sweating. Man. Okay, let's go see the. I can't believe I'm sweating in winter. <laughs> they make great jerky. Somebody said the emus. Come on, baby. Let's see the other thing. Look at these little things. Whoa! What are those mustaches? Whoa! What is that? It has a mustache. Whoa. Emma, you see the little mustache? Look at this. Ian, wait. Look, it has a mustache and a tongue. <laughs> so funny. You see that little one? Dude, that little monkey had a mustache. Oh, yeah? Like my dad. Oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> A lot of these little monkeys, um, it says here they're from the Africa. I don't know what place in Africa, but they're little tiny, tiny ones. They're so cute. Look, I thought that was a real animal. That's sad. There's an elephant, Emma. Emma, there's an elephant. Go say hi. Go touch it, go touch it, girl. Like Pedro's mustache, I know. My dad probably like make friends with a little monkey. Go touch it, baby, go touch it. Touch, touch it. Ew. <laughs> Emu egg with omelet. I mean, I bet it's pretty satisfying, like a big Good meal. Answer. Okay, just say cheese. Do they have kangaroos? I mean, koalas, drop bears again? Um, I, just, I haven't heard of any drop bears here. <laughs> okay. Uh, hopefully some koalas and full-size kangaroos. We saw wallabies. Yeah. And we'll, we'll check on them again later, but I want to see some full-size kangaroos. I don't know if we'll see them or not. Can you hold this camera, right? Yeah. There's the kids by the fake elephant there. <laughs> Mom, where are the elephants? I don't know. They're around here somewhere. Yeah, I thought it was real for a second, too. I was about to uh, be ready to grab the kids and run. <laughs> Ask the staff where the drop bears are. That's a good That's a good one. We should try that. Wouldn't that be funny? 
Someone said we should ask one of the staff if they have drop bears. That'd be funny, right? I wish I, I wish I could do like a real Aussie accent. That'd be even better. Try, try. I, I know. I know. I just, I don't know how to do it. They do it so amazing. Their accent. I just, I can't replicate it. Huh? Pardon me. Do you have any of the drop bears? That sounded horrible. Yeah, that's horrible. I'm gonna see. You told me to try. There you go. Hell no, I ain't trying again. No way. I ain't falling for that again. I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, that sounded like a palm. Yeah, see, sorry guys. Just take it, take it, take it as a compliment that your accent is so unique that it, no one else can do it. It's too hard, guys. It's too hard. But I will ask where the drop bears are in my Chicago accent. <laughs> What's that? Ooh, where? Right there? Remember? What? What do you want? I was say go ahead. <laughs> there you go. Ooh. Annie P. Aunt Ann is here. Hi, guys. I know my mom is in here. Annie P, my aunt. Glad to see you. Okay, let me park these then. Hold on, let me see. It's not in there, huh? Unless it's in this one. Oh, here it is. I don't want to interrupt their picture. Hold on. I'm going to go around. See if I can sneak around. There. Here. Ooh. Okay. Be careful. Oh, oh yeah. Can she take a photo really fast? Here, take a picture. Get her on, baby. Okay. okay, be careful. Andrew, it'll be your turn when you're done, okay? Be careful. You want to see it? Okay. Andrew wants to see it too, baby. That's mommy's spirit animal. <laughs> All right, Juju. You're on the nose. Yeah, you're on the nose. Aw. Wow, Andrew, you're riding a wallaby, I think. I'm not a wallaby, a gazelle. <laughs> Wee. Oh, look at those ostrich eggs. Are these ostrich or emu? What is this, an ostrich? I don't know. I think there's an ostrich. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because they have a little tail. Oh, look at the eggs. Okay, I got confused. A wallaby and a wallaby. Look at that elephant. It's a big elephant. Let's go see more real stuff. Hey, let's go see more animals. All right, come on. Let's go see more real stuff. Real stuff. Come on, come on. Was it a lion? Okay. Say roar. We can just touch and say hi, Emma. Wait, let the kids touch. <laughs> Here, baby. Wait for the little... Oh, that's a lot of... Emma. Come on, baby, let's go see the real lion. Come on, Mama, let's go see. Emma loves it. I think Emma wants to try the emu eggs. Bye. Excuse me, sorry. Let's go. Come on. I think we should get water because I'm thirsty. Emma, come here, baby. Stay with Mama, please, honey. 
Emma, do you, do you want to get a drink of water? No. Go up to staff with an empty pram and tell them that a dingo took your baby. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh, what baby, Andrew? Emma wants a smoothie, Ian. Okay, wow. Okay, Emma wants a smoothie. Oh, be careful, Mama, be careful. Stop, don't, Emma, don't run like that, don't run. Emma. Okay, baby, okay. We're gonna get a smoothie, okay? What's that animals over there? Oh my gosh. You put your son in the mouth of a reptile? I bet that's a cool picture. Size so is a fake reptile though. What is this? Oh, those things. Oh. They're in uh, the Philippines, huh? Yep. Interesting. Not too far from Australia. I think I saw one of those like near Rockford in the cornfield. It was in the cornfield and because my mom, her car got stuck in the cornfield and then. Okay, let's look at that smoothie. Come on, Emma's hungry. Okay. I don't want to go straight in. Dang, Emma. Emma's very smoothie oriented right now. She wants a smoothie. Oh my gosh, can you please go in the stroller, honey? Yeah? Here, so I can push you really fast. Fast, 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 so we can get here, Daddy. Oh, okay. So we're gonna go get Emma's smoothie. Okay. You want juice right now? Does anybody want to juice? Ooh. Oh, Skies are wanting to clear up. We'll see, I guess. Oh, you're okay. <laughs> what do we got? Emus that way. Huh. What zoo? Western Plains Zoo in New South Wales. Sounds good. I bet there's awesome zoos in Australia. Dubbo Zoo? <laughs> Dubbo? Dubbo? Sun's coming out, yeah, baby. Feels nice and warm. Oh my god, it feels good. Literally feels like 10 degrees warmer when the sun's out instead of behind the clouds. Oh, that desert sun is nice and hot. Got a little farm area here. Kind of cool. Dang, Andrew's spilling this juice everywhere, honey. He's squeezing it all over the place. Yeah. Hold on. All right, Andrew. <laughs> Someone said I want that tractor. Yeah, those are nice. I've always wanted one of those. <laughs> I guess we're gonna get something here at the farm cafe. Yeah, we'll have to look at the prices up there, guys. See if you think it's reasonable or not. Because these are in American dollars, obviously. Oh, 
use that? No, there's more food. <laughs> Emma, say hi, Australia. Oh, you're hungry. Okay, I got you. You're hangry. You get uh, bigger sizes usually. Yeah, we're gonna put Andrew in the stroller. He wanted to walk a little bit, and <laughs> he's been in there a lot, so he wanted to walk a little bit. <laughs> the king of all the foxes? I don't know. That might be hard to find. Yeah, the kids are having a blast. I think they'd love uh, anywhere in Australia, too. Who's all at the zoo? Just me, I.W. Rocker, and Andrew, Emma, and Mrs. I.W. Rocker, Danny. Someone said cut the line, you're a celebrity. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> I wish. I appreciate the compliment, though. <laughs> I'll wait in line. Oh, I, man I imagine, guys, if the sun is burning hot here in the southwest, I imagine it's crazy in Australia. Here. Here. Yeah, we're going to get a smoothie. That's cool. <laughs> you guys are cracking me up your cons. Uh, Dippin' Dots? I'm sure they do. Dippin' Dots? Yeah, how are these prices, guys? These are in American dollars. That's okay, in adventure parks and like... You know, water parks. Yeah. Like yeah, keep in mind, like, obviously everything is spiked up on a Saturday in a big zoo, you know? Yes, they have dipping dots, honey. They do have dipping dots. Emma likes dipping dots. Yeah, those are, those are really cool. Michael, eating Vegemite on toast? That sounds good. Emma calls them ice cream balls. People are putting in their orders. <laughs> Yeah, what do you guys want, huh? They have smoothies, right? Emma calls them ice cream balls. No, she wants ice cream balls now. Oh, she wants ice cream balls now? Me, pie, and a Coke? That sounds good. Uh-oh. My stupid phone battery's going low already? What? I thought I was at like 60%. Well, I'm going to keep this going as long as I can, guys. Four t 420 US for a bottle of water. That's not like everyday prices. That's just here. <laughs> yeah. It's about the same here, but it's a big bottle. I don't know. Yeah, this is definitely more than normal. Yeah, are the grocery stores not like this? No, of course not. What? It's cheaper. Yeah, but the prices seem similar here, I bet, because this is a kind of expensive zoo on a weekend, you know? Haha, <laughs> I appreciate that, Rank. Yeah, we're trying to create good memories for the kids. I think we're doing good, right? They're lucky. They've had some adventurous times already, huh? They're lucky kids. Life's an adventure, yep. Gotta have fun.
went to Dream World and beers were only two dollars more than a Coke. That's pretty good. Usually beers are like unbelievably expensive. That's something like that. Which way? I need to get like a like a portable phone charger thing, huh? If we want to be streaming more, you know, babe? So we can stream, or so we can, yeah, stream longer, have some sort of better battery life. You're taking online live orders, that'd be hilarious. Just order, literally, like, literally order everything we see in the comments. <laughs> see, <laughs> see what they say. <laughs> see how much it costs. What do you guys want? Yeah, imagine that, uh, Adventures Emma and Andrew would have an Oz. I know, right? They're gonna, they're gonna have adventures there. I can't believe they just walk through the kangaroos. Like, I'll be scared. I know. I, I think it'd be fun. Hey, we hit a hundred likes. You guys are awesome. When I, when I first saw that emu, I got scared. I was like, you know, it was that big. Yeah. I was going to jump at me or something. They're big. Power banks. That's what I need. Yeah, that's what they're called. Power banks. You can get like portable power for your phone. That's what I definitely need. Seriously, you, you guys know of any good brands or something? I'm going to order one online. 15,000 milliamp. Okay, that's a good size. Yeah, I want a big one. I'm I'm willing to, I'm willing to spend it. I don't care if it's a little pricey. I need it. I want to stream more. Here, remember this. Signet, fifteen thousand milliamp power bank. I did. Get a solar charger. That'd be that'd be sick. Hell yeah. That'd be neat. Yeah. Well. Our zoo map is on my phone, <laughs> like on our, our little Phoenix Zoo app, but I don't have that when I have YouTube open. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Hey. So, someone's... I'll tell Danny later if someone said she had nice hair. <laughs> Someone's wife said you had nice hair. Thank you. Huh. Which ones? Oh, the rainbow? Okay. Hungarian hustler Pedro. Uh, I don't know. We have to talk to him soon. Maybe today we'll call him. He's in Mexico. I don't, I'm not sure how long he's going to be down there. Look at Andrew repping Australia. Right? What time is it? It is, uh, let me see here. It is 3 p.m. 3 p.m. in Phoenix. Hello, Rick. Good to see you. 9 a.m. in Tasmania. Good day, uh, who is that, Shane? Good morning. 9 a.m., 9 a.m. What's up? What's up, buddy? What's that? Um, 
I don't know what I want. Probably just something to drink. I would I would get a Nathan's Famous. Those are good hot dogs, but eight bucks? Nah, I'm good on that. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, that's fine. What color, red or blue? Red? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Andrew does have a party in the back there, doesn't he? I cut his hair. Yeah, she cuts his hair. She's got a, I don't know if you guys can see, she's got a Barrett Jackson hoodie on. If you saw our last couple streams, the uh, big car show, our car auction. Yeah, I should have taken some Tim Tams here. Just like started throwing them around, all the Aussie animals would come. <laughs> Frozen Bundy and Cola? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Uh, it's up to you. Ooh, Jake with the super chat. Thank you for that. That's awesome, man. Good morning. Good morning to you, Jake. We appreciate that. We're very thirsty, so that, that helps uh, with our drink situation here. I appreciate it. Juju? Juju? Yeah? Okay. Ooh, those dipping dots are good. All right. Here, come here. What you got, Emma? You got ice cream balls? Yummy. Those look so good. Wow. Are they nice and cold? They're refreshing on a hot day, yeah? Wow. Give Juju a bite? Here, I'll give Juju a bite. Here, Juju. Ooh, Joanne with the Super Chat. Thank you so much. Thank you, Joanne. How's it going, Joanne? I hope your morning is starting out well. We got our ice cold icy. Those hundreds and thousands look massive. That's amazing. Oh, my God. Here, let's go sit down. Let's go sit down somewhere and eat. Okay, let's go drink, Emma. Let's go. Sit down. Everybody go sit down. Be careful with those balls, Emma. I want some of those. Be careful. Be careful, Emma. Go with Daddy. Follow Daddy. Excuse me. Ian. Follow daddy, Emma. Be careful, Andrew. Andrew, Andrew, oh my goodness. You okay, honey? You okay, Papa? Be careful, baby. Oh, he's okay. Those are dipping Dots. They're like little ice cream balls. Say, show what is that, Mama? They're dots. Emma said they're dots. Here, sit down and then you, I'll give you. Sit down, baby, and then I give. Oh, it's okay. It hurts your tongue. There. Uh -uh. Sit down, baby, and then I give it to you. Sit down and here, hold this way. Somebody said, "Hold it." Are you ready? Hold it. Hold it. Don't drop it. Excuse me. It's been very hot in Tasmania, in spots. That's cool. I mean, I mean, maybe not cool if you don't like the heat. No, just because uh, Tasmania is usually known for m uh, more mild, right? Not as hot, but I suppose they can get some heat waves too, right? Here. <laughs> it's not working. Uh oh. <laughs> That's because it's thick stuff. 
No? No. You walking out? Like Anything, Emma? It's not working. Hey, let me try and get some of these. It's not working, Emma. It's not working? Pork hunts. Wow, that is extremely generous. Nissan Patrol sounds awesome. Uh, from the off-roading I've seen, those look, those look like they're the real deal. Really cool looking, really reliable. That would be amazing. We'll, we'll definitely hit you up. I'd love to take a ride in that. Very generous. Here. Hold on. Let me try and... Ready? Here's snack time for them. Mm. Aw. That's so sweet. Oh yeah. Mama. What? Mama. You want me to give you some? Okay. It doesn't, here, Baba. It's not really coming out, huh? Sorry, okay, anyways. Yep, it's really nice. Here, baby. Look at the sun over there, the sky. Yeah, the sky's really blue over there. And then it's cloudy over here. I'm going to I'm going to I want Mount Hotlam, or Mount Hotlam? 11 Celsius, that is pretty cold for a summer. 't right in here mullet in the works yeah me and Andrew have some some mullet action in the back going on I admit um how's the charge on the phone it's pretty bad guys have a look we're down to 11 percent I'm gonna go tell she is that like one percent then I'll quit it just so it quits like correctly, not like ends abruptly, but we're, yeah, no, we're, we're still going to stay live, but just probably maybe like 10 minutes more. I don't know. We'll have to see. Wanted to see more, but this is a really big place and we don't know where everything's at totally, especially if I'm streaming, I can't pull up the, uh, digital map. I don't know if they're doing physical maps or not. I don't know. Uh, and we have seen a wallaby at the start and then an emu and some monkeys and uh, what else? Yeah, we didn't see that much. I feel like we're forgetting something, but yeah, we're looking for kangaroos. Uh, Noah, thank you for that super chat. That's awesome. Finding a way for me to support you, mate. Been watching for a while. I'm a huge fan of the channel. Noah, that's so awesome. We're, we're so glad that you love the channel. What made you so interested in Australia? Uh, well, Noah, that's really nice. I t let me tell you. That's a hard question to answer. I've tried to answer that before. What made me so interested in Australia? I know that's going to sound kind of funny or maybe like cliche, but I just feel like I was kind of drawn to it. As a kid, like, I wasn't totally into, like, major geography yet, but, like, you know, early kid, like under 10 years old, I was just kind of, you know, didn't know much about other countries, obviously. But I was always like drawn to Australia when I saw it on TV. You know, I saw like Crocodile Hunter and, and some animal shows about Australia. And then like, I think I saw like a couple documentaries and just saw like the landscape and stuff. And I thought, wow, you know, once I found out like, oh, that's not America, that's somewhere else. That's Australia. As a kid, I thought it was really cool. And so I started learning about other countries and you know they're all unique and stuff but i for some reason australia was just always stood out naturally kind of unexplainable so yeah i felt like i was drawn to it and the more i looked into it the more i liked the sports the motorsports the cars everyone's like accent and like the laid back like super cool attitude like everyone's really fun and knowledgeable and nice really good people so yeah i don't know it's kind of hard to answer but I don't know, I just like it. I like everything about Australia, I really do. Yeah. Ooh, someone from Papua New Guinea? Wow, Ismail, that's awesome to hear from you. That's really cool. We love to hear from anyone and that's somewhere different. That's really cool. That is pretty close to Australia. 
uh, but very, very awesome. Glad to see you here. Uh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I, I cut her off. I just wanted to say hi to that guy. I've never seen someone in a live stream from that area. That's really neat. I just want to say that throughout you study, like, learning about Australia, what I really like is that you guys are very generous people. Like, you're very. You're really nice. You're, you're very humble and down to earth. You know? Mm-hmm. That's a culture. You know, I look culture. Everybody has a different culture, you know? Yeah. So I've noticed that in the culture, there is... People are very nice, you know, too hard. And then I also like the country. Like, I know the government, I know there's a lot of stuff going on, but I do like the, that you're healthy, you have free healthcare, that's good for you. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, they have a lot of good stuff going on. Yeah, and I like that you're very family oriented. Yeah, to, to put it more simply, it's just like the, like the landscape and the, the sports and the culture is just fascinating, right? And I always use the whole, like, it's, it's like, different, but kind of similar to the U.S. in ways where it's not too intimidating. Like, it's not like going somewhere, like, so different where you're like, whoa, I'm a fish out of water, you know? Like, that, that's what's kind of cool, too. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I've always said the Aussie accent, I feel like, is the best. <laughs> sounds better than the, any European English and sounds better than American English. Yeah, don't forget the best coffee. That's right. I, I have yet to prove that, but I, I believe you guys. I know one day I'll have it and I'll be like, ooh, man, this is the best. Yes, that, yeah, we have been sent coffee in that manner. I, I guess I meant from like a, trying it like fresh from a shop or something, you know, like the full experience. My teeth are sensitive, so like, you know, the ice. Oh, he has it cold. Let me try some of this. It looks like half our trip was eating. <laughs> right? Yeah, I didn't mean to take a big eating break on stream, guys, but you know how it is with kids. If they're hungry, we got to eat. <laughs> Which is, it's all good. I don't, I don't mind on a hot day if refreshing, you know, snack break, so. Someone said, my favorite USA is Arizona was there in 1983, love the Grand Canyon, and met some Native Americans, also played pool with some. That's really cool. Uh, I'm with you. My, my whole favorite region is the Southwest. I, it's a beautiful country, and it's really big, but the Southwest is the best. I say, I, my favorite's New Mexico, right next door. I'd say Arizona is a close second or third. Uh, Arizona is beautiful. Really cool here, really beautiful weather. Awesome scenery. New, New Mexico and uh, Arizona are the best, I agree. Uh, Bernadette, I, I'm seeing something. Annie said, I, I, I don't believe I saw what Bernadette said. I, let me see. I'm sorry, you like 120 degrees hot. Yeah, I don't know how, how the uh, triple digit heat goes, right? Being from Illinois. I know down here in the southwest it gets 110, 115 Fahrenheit in the summer. Right now it's winter and it's like 75 and sunny and it feels hot, right? I can't imagine in the winter or in the summer. And I know of in Australia it gets over 100 a lot <laughs> in most of the country, right? Crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose you can get used to it. This is a really good turnout. Lots of likes, lots of people watching. Very cool. This is better than I thought. It's like a mug bag. I'm sorry. Anthony, I, I, will, I will give you that. If you we're talking about pure geography beauty, I'd say Utah is probably the best. I agree with you. I'd say Utah, even though it's not my favorite state, I think Utah is in pure scenery might be the best in the country. They have the, the salt flats. Yeah, they, they have everything. Utah has salt flats. They have crazy tall mountains they have the crazy red rocks and craters and canyons that's in idaho the moon place talk about the moon crater craters of the moon that's in idaho yeah utah is amazing yeah the monolith was there that's right
Bernadette? Let me look for Bernadette's message. I know a mechanic in Melbourne who worked on cars at Bathurst. Ooh, said if you get to Oz, he'd love to meet you and talk cars. That sounds amazing. Wow. Well, tell him to keep in touch for sure. I don't know. We would love to meet anyone, especially someone that worked on cars at Bathurst. That sounds amazing, right? I'm very honored to hear that. Colin, I do. I, I've read all about it in books you guys have sent me. I do need to do a video on the Blue Mountains in New South Wales. They're right up my alley. Really tall, really red. Yeah. And they're like covered in cool vegetation. They're really neat. I do need to do a video on that. Yeah, they're like these like Sky Island looking things. They're really cool, you know? Yeah, the country. Oh. Oh, it is an island, yeah. Yeah, it's so unique. It's like untouched. It's not like any other continent. Yep. Dang, Elizabeth, you have the Blue Mountains in your backyard. You are lucky. Time high for me. Yeah, yeah, wave to the mountains for us. They look dang good. Good day, Mark, watching from Melbourne. Cool. Let me check my battery, guys. Ooh, we're down to 4%. Hurry up, be fast. <laughs> Dang, I wish we could have done more, guys. Right? This would be this would be a long park to haul. But look for a lot more streams. You've seen we started to do more. Look for a lot more. We're going to do a lot more, guys. And I'm going to get a power bank so we can help with that out. Uh, Shane, thank you for that super chat. Wow. To help with some food for you while at the zoo, it's 75 Fahrenheit here at the moment, 85% humidity. So it's going to be a warm one here in Yamba on the New South Wales north coast. Katoomba in the Blue Mountains was a great as a kid. Oh, I bet it was. That sounds awesome. And he's got similar weather right now to us. Other than it's just not humid, it's dry, but it's the same temperature. It's humid where he's at, I think, yeah. Looking for more videos? Yeah, guys, I'll be posting a lot more, uh, you know, normal style videos we we're used to, like reactions and mail times. So look for that um, in the next few days, probably like it, as tomorrow or the next day. But we will, yes, we're Billy, we're gonna have, oh my God, at least four more opening videos that I know of, probably more once we get more mail. But yeah, we're gonna have a lot more that are backed up. We're backed up right now on those. I have a lot on my computer I just have to upload. <laughs> But yeah, look for more videos, more reactions. Um, I'm going to get Discord sorted out. And we still have a big uh, announcement about some extra videos that keep getting blocked. We'll have somewhere to watch those. And then, um, yeah, look for more live streams. Thank you guys for coming. I We got to see some, right? The Emu, the Wallabies. That was a first for me and for all of us. Thank you guys for hanging out. Yeah, look for pictures. I'll post some in the community post and Discord and maybe the Facebook too. And uh, we'll see you guys next time, okay? I, sorry to cut short. The battery's about to die, so. Yeah, um, usually in the emails and stuff, like, stuff like that, you know, Facebook, you know, sometimes, sometimes I help with that page, but I don't have my computer with me, you know? Yeah. I'm not to do the computer, so you guys are a little slow with that. Just ask why, so sorry. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. Say bye, Australia. Bye, Australia. Say thank Good you. Good girl. Say thank you. Good job, Andrew. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Say bye. bye. Thank you for watching. Bye, Have a good day, you guys. Enjoy your Sunday. We'll see you later. There's the sunshine. Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys later.